everybody. Happy Monday. Today we are going to the Goodwill bins, also known as the Goodwill outlet, to find stuff to resell online to make a profit. I've got my two daughters in haul, so we'll see how this goes. We're gonna get some Del Taco, so our stomachs are full, and uh, then we'll head up the Goodwill bins, and I'll give you guys a haul later. Let's go. All right, everybody, we made it to the Goodwill bins. I took three wrong turns here. I've been driving for six years and I still can't figure out how to like get on and off of freeways, so that's a problem, but I've got my big giant trash bag. I feel like this is the best way to collect clothes at the bins. You can just stuff it. It's not pretty, but it's efficient. So let's head on inside and see if we can find anything good. So I spotted this nice Ariat boot, but I could only find one of them and I was so disappointed because these were a nice pair of cowboy boots. Okay, look how cute this little brown purse handbag is. I don't really need it, but I thought it was so adorable and I'm sad that it's going to the landfill. Aw, a cute little pair of kids snow boots. I spotted this blue and gray pair of Solomons, but they had a lot of holes in them, so I left them because there was just too much wear. Here's another cute purse made from colorful straw. I think it's homemade. I had no use for it, but how cute. I found this nice pair of Bobos, but there was too much wear, so had to leave those behind too, unfortunately. This red cowboy boot caught my eye, but there was only one, and they had a lot of wear on the leather, so I left those. All right, everybody, it is now time for the haul portion of this video. It's been a few days since I've been to the Goodwill bins, and if this is my first time going through the bags, we're gonna go through it together. I did pull out one thing, though, because I didn't want it to get any more squished than it already was. This hat was hiding in plain sight at the Goodwill bins, and what made me pick it up was this nice lining right here. The brand is R Resist All, so I looked it up on eBay, and the sell-through rate was around 75%. But radio season is coming up and this is a nice cream color, very unique, even though there is some denting. I think that I should get around anywhere from $30 to $50. I think I'll price it at $45 to start, but I'm really happy to have found this. They are going anywhere from $20 to $120. So this is a great find and I think this is just so cool. A man or a woman could wear it. It's kind of too small. For my head. After further research, I discovered that this exact hat and style sells on Amazon for $80. So I'll be pricing mine at $40 and I'll go down from there. Let's dive into the bag. These are a pair of Hudson jeans. Now, Hudson jeans don't resell like they used to, I've heard. So I wouldn't pick these up at a normal thrift store, but because they were at the bins, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna pick them up for $2. Why not? Could resell them even for $25 and make a decent profit. The size is 31. And I just think that they're really cute because they seem to be a straight leg and they have some distressment. That, rate, that made them really stand out to me. So I decided to pick those up. The sell-through rate for women's Hudson jeans isn't great at all. And they're selling for around $20. I'm probably going to sit on these for a long time, but I got them for $2. So. I'm not feeling bad about it. Another pair of jeans. These are a pair of Karen Kane. Now I have no idea what these will resell for or what their sell through rate is, but I will pop up after I'm done describing this item, what the comps were and stuff to similar items. So this is a size 14. It is stretchy elastic waistband. And it seems to be a straight leg, maybe a skinny. There is some distressment at the bottom, which I never know if that's the style or if that just happened over time, but I think distressment is cute. So hopefully whoever comes across these will see these and say, wow, these are really cute. Karen Kane is expensive brand new, but I have no idea if it resells well. This pair of Karen Kane jeans sold on Poshmark for $18. Ooh, this is what's next. So this coat was kind of heavy, but the reason I got it was because it's a Bill Blass menswear 
and it's a long trench coat. So even though we're going into winter, I saw this and I just, I mean, we're going into <laughs> summer. Um, it's not winter anymore, but I couldn't resist this. I just realized that it's missing the belt. So that will decrease its value. And I think it was around six to eight dollars, but it is vintage and it has this really cool, it's faux fur, but it has this fur kind of lining. And so it just seemed really desirable. And there was a spot somewhere, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to pick this up. We'll see how it does. Average sale price for these trench coats on eBay is $50. Oh, so I found another pair of Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. And the last time I went to the bins, I also found a pair of Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. All right, I just have to pause here real quick because I kept saying Abercrombie and Fitch and it's Abercrombie and Fitch. I just, I've done that so many times. Both men's. I couldn't resist them because I thought, you know what? A tall skinny boy might come across these and think, wow, these are really nice. There's some distress mint, no stains or anything. Great condition. And I'm happy to have found that. I realized that these are actually a pair of women's pants. On the tag, it says six large, which is a woman's six tall. But I thought they were men's at first because I've never seen a waist and a length size on a woman's pair of jeans. So that's interesting. This pair of women's Abercrombie and Fitch jeans sold on Poshmark for $33. This now is a dress by the brand Miami. It is a size medium. Now, I don't know how much they retail for but even if I sold this for $20 it is really cute and so summery reminds me of a vacation tropical like a garden party you could wear this to so many events in the summer and it just I thought it was really pretty and if I decide not to sell it I can wear it myself although I feel like orange isn't my color so I probably will sell this but how cute I couldn't resist I'm like, this cannot go to the landfill. It is too cute. This is not a dress, but this Miami jumpsuit sold for $30 on Poshmark. Oh, so I was debating about getting this shirt. But the reason I ended up saying yes to it was because was it was just such a fun print. It is like totally eclectic grandpa, eclectic grandpa, all the way, spicy Adam Sandler kind of shirt. Uh, it's vintage Allison Daily. Size 14 again, 100% polyester, but aren't these colors so much fun? I just thought this would be so fun for someone to wear in the summertime, and I'll be pricing mine probably somewhere from $15 to $25. It's fun blue vintage shirt sold on Poshmark for $20. So this next find I just thought was crazy beautiful. It is this button-up shirt. And it's from the brand Parsley and Sage. I've sold one other Parsley and Sage item before that I also got at the bins. I think I sold it for $15. So not very much, but this piece is just really pretty. There's a lot of distressment to it and these really cool flowers, really, really cool buttons. So I just couldn't pass on this. And I don't know how much I'll get for it, but I just think it's really cute. And I couldn't send it to the landfill. That's my problem. I go to the bins and I think these are go all going to the landfill. They have to be saved. They have to be given a new life. This parsley and sage shirt sold on Poshmark for $20. This next dress, I think uh, this brand is a JCPenney brand, but the brand is Studio One. It's a size 10. This dress is just stunning. It's this jean type of dress. With a tie, though, it's very, very feminine. And I think this retails for around 50 to 80, not 100% sure. I just think it is so cute. And I wish it was my size because it's really pretty. The Studio One dress sold for $16 on Poshmark. I'm going to include Parisian Chic in my listing description. And I'm hoping to get around $20. Oh, so I was so happy by this find because. They are corduroy. Now, corduroy is very in style. The brand is Levi Strauss. And I looked up how much they were selling for on Poshmark, and they were selling for $20 to $30. So I'm probably going to list mine at $30. They're a size 30 by 29, which is awesome. And they're corduroy, a tan corduroy, just a very in style piece. And I'm really happy to have found a men's piece because men's pieces sell better. This pair of men's Levi's corduroy pants sold for $25 on Poshmark. 
<laughs> oh, so this one I almost left behind, but I had a feeling in my gut say, don't leave this behind, Kate. And I'm so glad I didn't. The brand is Horny Toad, but it's a line from the brand Toad & Co, which is a good brand to resell. But it's Horny Toad. I thought that was so funny. It's a size large. I think it's a men's shirt. Let's see, based on the buttons. Oh, maybe it's a women's shirt. I'll have to look that up. But it's just really nice. And I think I can resell this for $18 to $28, somewhere in that range. And I'm happy to have found that. Upon further research, I learned that Toad & Co used to be named Horny Toad, which is what this shirt is labeled with. So it's a Horny Toad shirt, which means it's before 2015, because in 2015, Horny Toad became Toad & Co. But this is selling for around $20 on Poshmark, just like this listing here. So I was so happy to have found these. These are a pair of Brooks, and I just bought a pair of Brooks from a thrift store from the other side of Thrifty Boutique. You can find that in one of my other videos. But this pair was selling at Goodwill for $7.99. No one bought it. And they went to the Goodwill bins and I picked them up. The laces are intertwined and it looks like there is some shedding. There is like this weird piece coming up right here. But I think that I can sell these for 30-ish dollars. They're just a nice black neutral pair of Brooks and I'm happy to have picked these up. I was actually kind of shocked to find them. There is some wear right here. So that's probably why they were sent to the bins. But I decided to take them. I'll say, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna keep those. This pair of Brooks sold for $38 on Poshmark. The last item, sad to get to the last item, but this is the last item. What are these? Oh yeah, so these are a pair of Clarks. Now, I love hate relationship with Clarks. I have sold a few pairs of Clarks, but only pick up Clarks if you can get them for very, very cheap. And if they're a desirable style, I've yet to look at the style, but they are in very, very good pre-owned condition. And they're these cute sideways Mary Jane style. These really cute like flats. They remind me of a very boho gypsy kind of look. And I just thought these were really cute. And they're in such good condition. So I snatched these up and I'll probably list them for about 30 ish dollars. This pair of similar Clark's shoes sold for $28 on Poshmark. Well, oh, and they feel soft on the inside. So that's a bonus. Well, that is everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe, like, share with your friends, comment, comment anything you want. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.